Grade 9 Canadian Geography examines interrelationships within and between Canada's natural and human systems, looking particularly at how these systems interconnect with those in other parts of the world. Throughout the course, students will explore environmental, economic, and social geographic issues relating to topics such as transportation, sustainable energy choices, and urban development. In doing so, students will learn to use geographical concepts and spatial technologies to investigate various geographic issues, with the overarching focus of making Canada a more sustainable place to live. CGC 1D slash P will cover the following units. Unit 1 – Introduction to Canadian Geography What are the wetlands and why are they important? How are Canada's coastlines affected by global warming? Why are there so many factories in Ontario? There are so many interesting questions we can ask and answer when we study Canadian geography. In this unit, we will look at how to ask good geographic questions. And of course, we will learn the basics of Canadian geography. Unit 2 – Canada's Physical Environment Temperatures in Canada can range from plus 45 Celsius all the way down to minus 63 Celsius. Our incredibly vast landscape includes mountains, arctic tundra, lush rainforests, and too many breathtaking deciduous and pine forests to count. Canada is undeniably a country of great variety and contrast when it comes to geography. In this unit, students will have the chance to learn a little bit about each of the geographic regions that make up this great country. We will also examine the impact that natural disasters have had on the geography and people of Canada. Unit 3 – Canada's Resources Do you know why Canada's economy has been ranked 10th largest in the world, despite ranking only 39th in terms of population? Well, it's because of our vast amount of natural resources. In this unit, we will explore the resources that form the core of Canada's economy. We will also discuss how we can use these resources in a sustainable way to allow future generations to prosper as well. Unit 4 – Canada's Population What happens when there are more retirees than workers? Is our birth rate high enough to sustain our economy into the future? Or will immigration be what propels Canada forward? In this unit, we enter into demography, the study of populations, in order to better understand how questions like these affect Canadians. Unit 5 – Communities When you walk through your neighborhood, what do you see? Is it spread out with lots of big houses, or is it stacked tall with hundreds of apartments and townhouses? Are there places of worship, factories, schools, stores, community parks? Every community in Canada is different. In this unit, we will look at what defines a community and how communities rely on each other, looking particularly at food management strategies. We will also examine the transportation systems that connect our vast and various communities.